Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, Friday was a very windy day. Would you agree? Um, Joy and I were talking earlier this week, and I really think that wind was not an effective description of what happened. It was... Flustery sounds weak. Flustery's like, I don't know. Yeah. It was cyclonic. Cyclone-ish. Yeah, bad. It was bad. So my parents live about ten minutes away from me, and their power is still out, and will be out for at least another day. So my this major adult milestone, my parents are staying at my house. <laughs> There's nothing to celebrate other than I have a house for them to stay at. So this story gets this this story gets even more interesting. So my parents have a Generac whole home generator. The battery went out on Tuesday. They made an appointment on Tuesday. They made an appointment. For this Tuesday, they're like, we can see you in about a week. Well. <laughs> so every Sunday morning since I started working here, um, my parents have called me every Sunday morning at about 7 o'clock to make sure I'm up and ready and on my way <laughs> and uh, to make sure I'm okay, especially because for about 36 of those weeks, uh, those are seven-day work weeks and for about 12 of those in the fall and 12 of those in the spring, those are you know, late nights. So they like to make sure I'm up and make sure I'm okay. And this morning, they were there. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Um, so instead, even though I only live about 15 minutes away from them, I don't see them very often in the week. I usually, you know, I'll occasionally run into my dad at like a school board meeting or something, but I don't see them very often during the week. So it's it was an interesting experience, even though they're never really far away, to, to be closer to them during this time. And it made me think that even though God is never far away, it's not often that we invite him into our lives. We intentionally invite him in. And we experience the wonderful intimacy of not just him being a God that's far off down the road, away, God of the universe, but allowing him to be our God. The personal experience of him being your Savior, not the Savior of the world, but your Savior. Not just being the provider of all good things, but your provider. To wake up and see him first in the morning. This morning, as we gather here, as we are all here in this time of worship, we are reminded with at this service of table that he doesn't just want to be God, he wants to be your God. 